So some of you guys have probably been wondering why I haven't made a video in a while. And the short answer is I've been working probably way too hard on a new project or what will become a new project. Um, so a little bit of background. Uh, some of you guys might already know this. Um, I have uh, my own product on the App Store uh, for the iOS and Mac App Stores um, called Virto Studio. In other words, I made my own 3D modeling app by myself from scratch. And that app has kind of been my, I guess you could say it's kind of been like my life's work. And it's always been bothering me that I originally chose to write that app in a language called Objective-C, which fundamentally only will run on Apple platforms. So uh, a couple months ago, I saw the release of the uh, HoloLens, which essentially is a holographic pair of glasses you put on an augmented reality device um, spearheaded by Microsoft. And I saw that it was going to run on the Windows 10 platform. And again, I started to get a little bit upset that, you know, I only had written uh, my best, most powerful app ever in a language that can't run on Windows. So I started looking at some ideas and how I was going to, you know, get this to work, and I, I, I explored some dead ends about running Objective-C on Windows, and finally I came up with the idea that I'm just going to rewrite the entire damn app, or at least all the parts that don't rely on operating system things. We call that front-end or UI. Um, all the non-UI stuff I was going to rewrite in C++, and the only thing I was going to run it, write it on top of was OpenGL. So I was going to have the entire editor core of Virto Studio graphics engine and editing engine run entirely on C++, namely the new C++11 standard. And that's what I've been doing. For four months, I've been rewriting what amounted to about 50,000 lines of code in C++, using the starting point of where the graphics engine left off when I finished my game, which was my big project last year, Drive by Gangster. Um, that port, initial port of the graphics engine got me maybe 25% of the way, and then I took care of the other 75% these last couple months. Uh, so what does that mean? That basically means now I have the entire, minus all the buttons and supposed to be easy stuff, part of Virto Studio, the modeling app, uh, running on C++. And I just yesterday got it to build in Visual Studio um, for Windows. So, man, I got it. Like I got, you know, this thing ready to go. So. Long and short of it, why did I do all this? Well, I want to actually port Virto Studio to the HoloLens. I want to be among the first people to have 3D modeling be an experience that you can do in virtual reality and augmented reality. It makes sense to put these glasses on and actually have what you're working on, your 3D model, sitting on your desk and being able to reach out with your hands and actually directly manipulate the polygons and the triangles at the lowest level, essentially what Virto Studio does. So um, that's my crazy plan. I've already got the graphics engine going for Windows 10, just standard Windows, you know, like on a normal computer here. Um, so that's awesome. And But how am I, how am I going to do this in HoloLens, right? So. That, that was kind of me saying at a high level what I'm going to do. I'm going to talk about some of the technical details about how I hope to accomplish this. Maybe just talking out loud will help me be organized myself. Um, so how am I going to do it? Well, for starters, HoloLens runs on the Windows 10 platform, and the Windows 10 platform only really has a couple ways to get 3D content on the screen. In other words, HoloLens really recommends that you use Unity or... Uh, I think it's just Unity and, and maybe a couple other things like the Unreal Engine to, to, to get your 3D models and 3D graphics to run in the HoloLens environment. And that's not feasible for me. First off, I hate Unity. I, I think it's just a bloated, buggy piece of crap. But second off, I have all this work in C++ and I'm not going to use C Sharp, you know, to rewrite everything. So that's one problem. And the other problem is, is HoloLens doesn't directly support OpenGL. HoloLens only runs OpenGL well, it, it doesn't. It runs DirectX or Direct3D. Um, originally, I thought that maybe I would try to write my graphics engine using Direct3D for the HoloLens, and I initially started thinking along those lines, but I started to realize I use OpenGL in such a complicated way for Virto Studio, and I rely on so many of its little nuances, it would really be great to just run OpenGL directly on the HoloLens and on Windows 10 store apps. So I found a little project, I've kind of known about its existence for a while, called Angle, 
And what angle essentially does is allows you to run OpenGL code directly on top of Direct3D. In other words, you don't know the difference as a programmer. You think you're using OpenGL, but under the hood, it's actually implemented using Direct3D. And it works beautifully. It's what powers WebGL on Chrome for Windows. So if you go to a WebGL web page, you're really running Angle. Um, and that's beautiful. I was able to get me, you know, what's going to basically be 80% of the way there for HoloLens and 100% of the way there for Windows. However, uh, there are a couple things I'm going to have to do, and they depend on the fact that HoloLens, you're rendering to both eyes at the same time, and each eye has to have the camera slightly offset from uh, the other eye so you can create the illusion of, you know, 3D in real life. Not to mention the fact that there's some tricks about, well, what is see-through to the real world behind you when you're wearing these glasses and what isn't, and all those little crazy nuances that, you know, OpenGL was never designed to support, at least not right now. And even Direct3D wasn't. Um, the Microsoft people that were working on HoloLens added some special extensions to Direct3D 11 that are only accessible to the HoloLens SDK that obviously Angle wouldn't have known anything about. Now here's where it gets fun, and here's where I get crazy, and I don't know if I'm going to be able to do this, but every time I say that, I, a couple months go by and I figure it out somehow, so I'm just going to try. I am going to take the source code of Angle, so the source code of Angle is available, and I'm going to edit it, and I'm going to add a non-standard extension to make OpenGL work on HoloLens. And that part, that work, I'm going to open source. I'm going to give that back to a GitHub repository, and anybody who wants to do OpenGL on HoloLens will be able to do it. I know Microsoft is planning this, but uh, at this point, I don't think they're going to get it done in the time that uh, I need to have this ready. So I'm just going to do it myself, and maybe they can use some of the work I did or vice versa. So that's how I'm going to do that. Um, and so that's basically what, what the, why the hell I've not been making videos for so long because I've been thinking about this whole process and rewriting all this code has been insane. Um, and I'm really glad that the brunt of the work is behind me. So now all I basically have to do is learn this Windows UI stuff for Windows 10. Um, try to share as much code as possible between a Windows version and a uh, HoloLens version and, and just try to work out all the technical details of getting this to work. And uh, hopefully within a few months... Virto Studio will no longer run only on Apple, but it'll actually run on Windows 10, holographic devices, maybe VR in the future. So it's a really exciting time to be a programmer. I just got the HoloLens myself. It just came in the mail. I'm actually going to probably upload an unboxing video just for the hell of it uh, after this. Um, yeah, so I just want to thank everybody who has already bought Virto Studio. When you do that, you're directly supporting me. You're basically helping me live my dream of being a programmer, you know, like an independent programmer, and I really appreciate that. And those of you who haven't, uh, and because you don't have a Mac or a, an iPad and you're not into that, uh, you know, you'll be able to possibly maybe check it out on these future platforms. So that's essentially what I've been up to. Um, starting August is when I'm going to really ramp up the HoloLens development, and I hope to start uploading some cool little videos of how it's going, both to my channel and maybe shorter ones to my Twitter account. So. That's it, guys. Thanks for uh, thanks for subscribing and watching as always. Goodbye.